Welcome back to some more Elden Ring. All right. You're probably wondering, where am I at? So, last time we left off the converted tower and we had visited the village of the Albinorix, right? But we are now currently here at Rhodes Inn Catacombs. So, if you head north from the converted tower, um, there'll be a minor earth tree. There's a earth tree avatar boss here. I fought it and killed it. I did not want to uh, record that because I already fought an earth tree guy over uh, yeah here. Um, essentially, wherever there is a minor Erd tree, there tends to be an Erd tree avatar. The only one that does not seem to have one is the one in Limgrave. And I would willing to bet that this is because Limgrave is supposed to be like, you know, the, the beginner starting area. So they don't want to like slam you with something like an Erd tree avatar in the beginning. It's not that the Erd Tree avatars are hard, but I don't know what their uh, health and defense is like. And they also have that pretty uh, pretty effective uh, ma magic move, which is just like projectiles and whatnot. Um, this Erd Tree avatar is actually pretty easy. The one here that I beat first is actually harder because it has Scarlet Rot and it spreads the rot. So I imagine the natural course of progression through this game is probably Lyurnia, from Limgrave to Lyurnia, and then you come back down to Kaelid and uh, whatever's down here to the south. I think that's kind of the natural progression, but you know, whatever. But anyway, we're here. Um, I already pulled that lever over there. You come in, typically typical of these ruins there are a few uh imps i believe they're imps uh yeah roads in catacombs uh, i forgot the name for a second so yeah you see down there there's an imp um they can throw knives easily dodge i think the key is to try to bait him to come closer because there's probably an ambush if i had to guess Three hits with a greatsword can stagger them, at least on my build. Um, I don't want to speak for other character builds, so I will not. Um, what I want to do here is... Holy cow! That's the first illusory wall I found. <laughs> it was just by chance, honestly. I didn't really know that it was there. It was very dark in there. I'm not fighting in there. Okay, you gotta, you gotta watch out for the bleed build up. They aren't. They don't do a lot of damage, but if they combo you, you will bleed out. And it is very easy for them to combo you if they attack you as a group. Wow, he knocked me out of the air. That was dope. I'll give him that. They also have a very effective uh, hit and run pattern, I would say that. Um, there he is. Ooh, that was a good stagger. There we go. Wasted a little too much health doing that, but... There we go. Human bone shard, okay. Watchdog staff, interesting. I'll read those later. I'm not, uh, they don't seem too important, honestly. <laughs> uh, ooh, okay. Hmm. 
This is no good. I wish there was a way to tell <laughs> which ones are illusory just by uh, going around, but clearly not. That one's not either. All right, I guess we're going down. This is it. Root resin. Uh, lots of walls here. Grave glove wart, no ghost glove wart, huh? This is it? I'm at the end of the dungeon? Huh. I wonder what I would have found if I kept going. Oh. Whatever though. We'll... Actually, no, 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 no. We gotta go back. We can't just go straight to the boss like that. <laughs> we gotta see what else is in here. I could easily miss an item just by doing, like, running past all that. Uh, let's double check. Good there. I'm pretty sure there's an imp somewhere in here. Yeah, there he is. Oh, that's cool. You can kind of, you can kind of combo like blue. Okay, watch out for the traps. Oh, so you can combo like Bloodborne. I I didn't I forgot. I didn't realize this game had that uh, attack buffering. So that's pretty neat actually. So I could do like uh 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 uh. uh. Oh. It's pretty cool. This is a wall. There's the, okay, yeah. I'm glad I didn't go straight to the boss. I would have missed this chest. There's got to be another one above. He can't be the only one in here. I refuse to believe it. Or maybe he was the only one in here. No way. Yeah, that's what I thought. go let's see what it is Ray Lucaria soldier ashes okay that's not a bad uh it's not a bad pickup honestly this makes me actually wonder what else I've Uh, what, what else I've missed, like in these dungeons, because I've been uh, kind of avoiding, like, once I find the boss, I assume that's it. There's nothing else of value in these places. So it's like, what's the point of doing anything besides the boss, honestly? So, I don't know what's in here. I'll try and fight it out regularly. Um, I will keep the wolves handy just in case. I don't know what the summoning is. A snail? What the heck? Spirit caller snail. Interesting. I don't s Okay. Alrighty, I don't know if it's uh, whatever, whatever. It doesn't really matter. We're on. Go ahead, handle our stuff here. Charge attacks. We're gonna buff those up. Increases guard counters. I actually, don't really know what is considered a guard counter and what isn't. 
Raises focus, raises vitality. <laughs> Reduces damage and impact of headshots. Crucible knot talisman, okay. Enhances roars and breath attacks. Jump attacks. Uh, none of these are interesting at the moment. We're just gonna go in like this. It's a spirit. So. Okay, it looks like the snail is over here. I can probably just outrun this thing and just focus on the snail, honestly. He doesn't seem to, uh... I guess the trick here is... figuring out a clue that helps you find out where the snail is. Snail is honestly. Uh, huh. Now here comes the problem. Is he over? Dude, what the fuck? Oh my goodness. Okay, this is it. Dead ass right now. <laughs> oh. Wow. You would think he'd disappear instantly once this master dies, but I guess not. Let me go get my skit. I wonder if I even got any souls for that. Runes, I'm sorry. Eh, just a little bit. Not entirely worth it. Lyarnia of Lakes. All right. That takes care of this little piece. But there's something up here we need to get that I did not get last time I came through here. Because I got jumped by these bats. But if you look up here, here's our target. There we go, we got him now. Yeah, sword, sword dance. Now is not to die. The cool thing that they did when they updated the game is because there's a big update. Um, when you when you find one of those little statues, uh, where is it? Well, oh, there it is. Yeah, when you find one of those little statues. It shows up on the map until you locate the actual catacombs. So if for whatever reason you die before you reach the actual catacomb, it, it's still marked on your map, basically. There's a grace up here, huh? I would assume there's an NPC in this area as well. 
This seems like a place with an NPC. Revengers Shack. Nobody here. Hmm. At least for the moment, nobody is here. I imagine someone will show up here eventually. All right, we can keep going forward then. In that case, I don't see anything. We are going north, gang. My essential goal here is to explore the region around the academy before going into the academy. So those are the main goals right now. Awesome, we have a stake of Marika. And we have another Evergall. So this will be fun. This one should be fun. Let's go with Pulled Up. Enter. Let's see who we're coming across this time. Boss. Oh, goodness gracious. It's a giant. A carrying knight, apparently. Uh, yo! <sighs> there are the, uh, the recovery frames of a <clears throat> like roll, a rolling R1 is uh, too high, so don't do that. Like, man, that was like, ugh. like that hurt. So he's not too bad, he's just a, he's a giant with a sword, essentially. That's uh, not that big a deal. What's over in the distance? Oh, okay. That's I've already been there. That's where I fought the dragon. But we need to go up and see what's there. Okay, let's summon them up real quick. Try not to get one shot this time. Uh, goodness gracious. The reason I did not roll, I was my right thumb to change my uh <laughs> I was using my right thumb to change my item while I was uh walk he has two attacks the that I've not noticed from the other giants glint stone phalanx and then apparently he can uh use the roar I guess that's some sort of power up or something. It's whatever. I'm sure we can get bleed on this guy. I'm not. Uh, I'm. I'm like 100% positive I can get bleed on him. Not like that though. Oh, there he is. Ugh. I can't. There we go. There's a baby. That hit me, bro. The heck?
Let's stay close so he doesn't use his Glint Stone Phalanx. There we go. Got him. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, great Blade Phalanx. <laughs> That's a cool move to have. If I could put it, like, if I could change the uh, the ability on my own. <laughs> yeah, that was weird the way he got up, but okay. I can't summon my horse right here. What the heck? Oh, there it is. So yeah, if I could have that move. On my Roger's rapier, that would be awesome. No, that would be kind of OP. What is that? How many of these things are there? Was that you singing? What the hell? Oh, that's... Swag. That's swag. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Okay, this one better hit. Yeah. I guess it is a siren. There should be one more. I was wondering like what the hell is that? I thought it was an NPC honestly. Like I thought there was an NPC that was sitting around here singing. This whatever. That's so cool, man. That is so dope. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've been here before. There's way too many shrimp, like they'll just jump you. So we're gonna go around. Supposed to be going up, 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 up. We need to check out these ruins and things of that nature. Let's go over here first. Make sure we don't see anything suspicious on these ledges of Leha. I hope my glint blade doesn't attack the jellyfish because I don't want to aggro them. They aren't actually hostile, so I don't think it, uh... There's a giant up there, though. Looks like a ghost. This is a peculiar area, honestly. I can stealth through here, that'd be perfect. The 
goal is to avoid fighting. I need to look the jellyfish up, honestly. I want I feel like they drop something decent if you fight them. But they're rare. There we go. The tricks, baby. We don't gotta fight nobody. Oh, we do gotta fight somebody though. We gotta fight somebody, I ain't mean. I, I, I jumped off though. There we go. The four bell freeze. Switch weapons, this ain't gonna work. Yeah, this ain't gonna work for me. Ah. He turned it around. And I rode terribly there. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. The four belfries, okay. That is quite the run back. Oh yes, that is quite the run back. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna cut the run back. <laughs> okay, we're back. There he is. Right on cue. But I wonder, do I need to fight him to actually progress in the Belfries? I don't think I do. It'd be cool, I guess, but... Actually, I might need to fight this guy, honestly. Please tell me I get a crit on this guy. Um, I don't see anything. That's why. Yeah, the fall reset him. This should be it. There we go. Four bell freeze, got it. Okay. Let's open these things up. Imbued sword key. How many are there? 
I guess there would be four belfries, huh? I'm tempted. Like, there are two of them. I don't know what to do, though. I'll just open this one. I have no imbued sword key. Okay, that's fair. I thought I did. Crumbling lands. Let's hop back on first, just in case there's another enemy. I don't have the mobility to avoid it. Let's see what's up here. Is it, yeah, another imbued sword key, which I do not have. Okay. Is it the same thing here? Four belfries, all the same. Nope. None of these will work for me. I don't think there's another enemy at least because there's a grace up here there's a chest right there though so that's cool all right What have we missed so far? Did I do that? Revenger Shack. Converted Tower? Is that the Converted Tower? No, that's a church. The Converted Tower is there. Church up there. Um, Godric's castle is on the other end, so I haven't been able to get up there yet, whatever that church is. Looks like it's somewhere up on this ridge area here, but I haven't been able to get there. I went under it, which is where the village of the Albinorox is, but I have not been able to go above it, so avoid that for now. Um. There are no NPCs here, which is surprising. There's a couple of churches over there. Actually, it looks like a whole city. If I'm paying attention. Uh, there's a chest down there. A couple of giants. Okay. Got some stuff to take care of. I might not record that. I'll probably show which item I get, though. Um, let's open this up and see what we get. Nothing. Imbued sword key. So it gives us. I guess now the the determining factor is deciding which gateway we want to use it on. There's something that probably leads that way. Looks like this one might also lead that way, maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's just go with this one. See what she do. Alright. We have a warp gate. We're gonna go through it, guys. Let's see what beholds us. On the other side. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> 